three. License plate in last night. Got my new helmet on, got my new vest on. Shit's epic. Shit is epic. Got the new camera angle you can see. I'm not gonna plan on using this constantly. I might end up switching between a few camera angles just to mix it up every once in a while. You probably see my new helmet um, on the review video. Yeah, I'm wearing the HJC Lorenzo replica right now. Come on, dude. There we go. I uh, also bought um, some racing... Oh, sorry guys, you still okay? Yeah. I also bought some racing boots. Some Risha white and red racing boots to go with my two-piece leather suit. Of which I am now wearing the vest only. Um, because it's just way too hot to put the full su suit on. Um, what else I gonna say? Oh yeah, how's the sound in this helmet? Should be probably not gonna hear the bike as good. You should hear me a lot better. I uh, kind of set up the mic uh, exactly the same as in my uh, old helmet where I got the camera on the side. Um, that's not possible right now yet, so I'm using the... Uh, remote audio uh, recorder to see what that kind of gives. I, I still got a lot of setups to try out and test and see if they're usable so um, my next few vlogs might not be of the best possible quality and I'm just looking for something that is as good or better as what you guys are used to you know, riding on the side of the helmet, uh, filming from the side of the helmet, on the old ATV helmet. Let's see what we can do on this bike. So the point of this camera angle is, um, first of all, I gotta admit it, wheelies. This way I can properly see how far my wheel gets off the ground. Second of all, I think it's gonna give a nice mean look when I do a left turn and I lean it over quite far. Hopefully my camera doesn't hit the ground so I'm not gonna try to drag it. That would be bad. That would be expensive. But yeah, hopefully we got some nice shots from this. So this is more of a lean angle slash wheelie perspective. Let's follow that dude. Let's say we put you guys back on the mirror, like the position you've seen me in before but facing forward this time so you guys get a better view of what is going on in front of me and still can hear me talk we'll see if we can do that should be a quick fix see so this is what I'm currently working with and it's loose as hell and this, this thing should be in that slot but it just keeps sliding forward so I'm just gonna leave it like that for now it's not gonna fall off really close to the chain wheel but whatever <laughs> let's mount you guys up here in front 
That's gonna work out beautifully. Ah, oh, that sucks being behind this rig. These are nice corners. Can I pass? Can I pass? I shall pass. nice lean angles on that one. As you've seen probably, if I didn't edit it out, I'm, I'm not wearing any riding pants right now. I do have some, but it's just way too warm. We had like 30 degrees centigrade Celsius today. So, leather pants, don't think so. Shall we go left? We can go left. Hey, this is exactly the same turn I did in my first video on the bike. So, uh, how do you like... Uh, how do you like the camera angle? Nice, is it? For play balloon angle as much as I like it. Does it get you excited as much as I do? am excited. this bike can be turned over with so little effort just look at this flicking it over right so let's see how traffic filtering goes on this no buses on the left lane great see this is easy filtering just moving about a green light um the audi can get it I don't need to be in front of this guy. If he moves... Let's open up the visor again. traffic can you imagine having to wait in traffic like that in the car that's horrifying that's ew hours no not hours like 20 minutes or something and I'm just whizzing by a mister I'm gonna put myself behind that big rig because in front would be a huge mistake well the Mazda can stay there as well <laughs> My license plate still attached. I actually have no clue. Oh, what? They put another red light here? Oh man, that hurts. That sucks. I mean, might as well pass these guys while I'm at it. No harm done here, right? Man, there's a lot of dust kicking out on the road right now. Right new. probably even pass this guy but I want to you know big rigs I'd rather stay behind them for the time being because if you pass them and they don't spot you and they well they get off the line a bit faster than you do then you're gonna get ass raped by about 40 tons of steel 
That does not sound nice. I don't think you'd actually survive that if you get underneath it. 